Hey Performance Golfers, Matt Walter here at Vanderbilt Legends Club. Today, I want you to forget everything you learned about putting, because more than likely, it's dead wrong. And that may sound kind of preposterous to you, you may think I'm a little arrogant by saying that, but I'll tell you this right now, I've fixed so many common phrases, and I swear if you guys keep saying it for me, it's just going to help me become a better coach, because I get more players in about hearing this straight down the line, or keep your wrist still, and all the other verbiage that I hear that are one line tips that just aren't true. So, what I mean by that is, the golf swing with the putter is way more complex than trying to keep it straight and keeping it straight back and straight through, or the fact that you know, you're know you supposed to keep your hands still and make it like a pendulum. The problem becomes the putting stroke isn't a pendulum. It's not fixed right here at the top of the putter and gravity doing the rest of the work. That's not how the putter works. So we have to understand that what we're swinging here is very similar to that of a golf swing. We have multiple joints that we're using to move and influence the putter. Like your hand is moving in three dimensions. Hopefully your elbow is only moving in and out and your shoulder is another three dimensional joint. So we have to understand that these are tools to utilize and, and control club face. Now, here's what I mean by all this. It's really difficult to make a straight back, straight through stroke when the putter sits on a plane that's not straight up and down. The shaft would have to sit almost vertically, if not vertically, to have a traditional straight back, straight through, I wouldn't even say traditional, I would just say it just has you know, the only way for it to go straight back, straight through. But even then, it's not operating on a pendulum because we can't keep it fixed in the same place. It's gonna move side to side with some linear motion. So Michelle Wee is about as close as you can get to having a straight back, straight through, but that's because she's a tabletop looking like putter. So we have to be able to understand that because it sits on this plane, the putter has to arc just like the full swing has to travel an arc in the, in the golf swing. So what I'm gonna give you today is a drill that's going to help you get out of that mentality of trying to keep everything firm and stiff because you just don't have to. And so one of my biggest arguments to my players about it is if I took your hands out and they just became clubs that melted onto the golf club and you weren't allowed to use your arms and the hands, everything just had to stay really still. The problem is you're taking out the main thing that we use for feel. Our 10 fingers is what produces feel. So if you're struggling with distance control, for example, you're probably not getting the most out of your hands to influence the putter, to feel the momentum of the putter head, the speed of the putter head, the closure of the club face, it's really hard to close a club face by manipulating my body and the feel of my shoulders and my lats and all that can't control a club face. It can influence it, but it can't control the club face as well as my right hand can or my left hand can. So what I would encourage you to do is try this little drill. It's very similar to the pitching one I did with the right hand only, but there's two ways to do it. If you're a traditional grip putter, I would tell you to feel that right hand stay in the same place and let it flex and extend to create an arc. So what I mean by that is you want your hand to try and extend like you're doing a push-up and flex without influencing it with some supination and pronation or without any deviation in the wrist. So we want to see it go side to side. So what we're going to do is we're going to get set up. You can hold your elbow against your rib cage so you don't have a lot of this happening. And we're just gonna work on using our right hand in the stroke. And so the goal here is to keep that flex and extension where that's the only feel we have without any twisting motion. Now, if you're a left hand low type of player, you can try it with your left hand and it's a very similar feeling. You're trying to get flex, or sorry, now it's the other way. Now it's flex and extend instead of extend and flex. 
So you're set up here and now you're gonna flex your hand in and extend it to the target. And this is gonna control the club face a lot better than trying to rock your shoulders. Another key thing about this is important variables to your putting is that your hips stay still and your noggin stays relatively still. If we can keep those two things not moving all over the place, it is a lot easier to control the club with our arms. If I lock out my hands, it's really hard for me to not move my head. And especially as I start to create momentum, my head's gonna counter swivel to where my hands go. My hands go forward, my head will go back, my hands go back, my head will go forward. But if I soften everything up and I let my arms and my hands swing freely, it's gonna require some shoulder motion, some elbow motion, some wrist motion. If I let all that start to happen, I can keep my head a lot more stable through impact, which is gonna produce a lot better results. Now, you might be asking why the ruler? The ruler is here because it's a great drill that if you can get the ball rolling down the ruler for the first four feet, the rest of the putt's a lot easier. And so what I would do is you can work on this at home or set it up so that the edge of the cup is right at the end of the ruler and work on rolling the ball four feet down the ruler. And if the ball can start down the ruler consistently, you're controlling the club face. So it becomes a lot simpler task of knowing where you're lined up and if the ball's starting on your line. And I'd be willing to bet the better some of you get at using your arms and your hands in the putting stroke, there's a lot better opportunity that you'll be able to make and hole more putts. So let's give it one last try. Ah, left it on the edge. So, forget everything you've learned. Work on extending, flexing your right hand or flexing, extending your left hand and work on letting your arms soften up so that you can move the putter on a much better plane that arcs around your body and ignore anybody that tells you to go straight back, straight through because physically you can't do it and it's actually harder. So with that, I hope you liked the video. Leave us a comment, subscribe to the channel. If you leave a comment with a question, I'll be the one answering it for you. So I'll, that way I can help you get better with your putting stroke. And I look forward to making another video for you guys shortly.